Hello again, welcome to my channel. Today we will be learning how to apply PBR images on an object, by creating a brick wall. After watching this tutorial, you all can make beautiful renders of your own and even better. First I am going to tell you which texture and HDRI map, I used in the scene. I got the brick PBR material from cc0textures.com, I used brick 23. And I got the HDRI from hdrihaven.com, I used Venice Sunset as my HDRI. Well back to Blender. Delete the cube, go to front view by pressing 1. Press Shift A, Mesh, Plane. Align it to view. Go to shading tab. Click on new. Drag your image texture from the file browser window. You have to go to the directory first, where you saved your textures, to be able to see them in this window. Well connect color to base color. Press Ctrl T to have the mapping and texture coordinate nodes. Remove UV and use generated by connecting it to vector. Select horizontal list display to be able to see the names. Drag the image with the roughness texture into the shader editor. Change sRGB to non-color, then connect its color to roughness, and minimize it. This time drag normal, you can know the texture by its name extensions, change it to non-color again. You cannot connect it directly to the normal in the principal shader node. Press Shift A, search for normal in the search bar, choose normal map. Then connect normal to normal. Connect mapping node to all other nodes. Bring displacement map in the shader editor. Just like normal map you cannot connect it directly to displacement in the output node. Search for displacement, connect color to height, and displacement to displacement in the output node. But you cannot see any displacement on the geometry right now. Change the render engine from EV to cycles, and switch supported to experimental. Go to modifiers tab, select subdivision surface. Select simple to relax the geometry, and check adaptive. Go to material editor, scroll down a little. In settings, switch bump only to displacement and bump. Switch to render view, now you can see all the displacement that happened on the geometry, and it's too much. Go back to the displacement node, and lower its scale from 1 to 0 0.150. This looks better now. It's time to bring ambient occlusion in the shader editor, but you can't see any ambient occlusion in the principal node. Well bring down the texture in the editor. Search for mix RGB. 
connect ambient color to the factor of mix RGB. And connect the diffuse color map to color 2 of mix RGB, and connect color to the base color. Adjust the ambient shadow color to your liking, which is color 1. Switch shader editor to world. Shift A. Texture, environment texture, click open. Search for the HDRI map that you recently downloaded in the beginning of the video. Connect color to color. Now you have a brick wall with HDRI lighting in the scene. I forgot to switch sRGB to non-color in the ambient occlusion node, and connect it to the mapping node as well. Now we are done, you just have to duplicate the wall several times and make your own scene, you can send your final results to my insta inbox, I will love to see your final renders. Well this is all for today, if you like the video, then please like and subscribe, and ring the bell icon as well, so you can know about my future videos. Well take care, see you in my next video, happy blending.